This is a Blender 2.68 tutorial and this will cover how to do the assignment on Landscape and Lighthouse. Okay, we do not need the cube, so let's delete it. We need to add an object, that would be Shift A. And for the delete, I use the delete key on the numpad. So we want to create a plane, or actually we'll create a grid. We'll make this 50 meters. And we'll zoom out a bit, and that's 50 meters from the middle, so it's 100 meters in total. The number of subdivisions, we need 100 subdivisions, so that each grid is one square meter. Next, we need to go into Let's, before we go into that, let's just rotate it a bit. We need to go into vertex mode or edit mode. A will deselect all your vertices or select them all. You'll use this key quite often. Now we want to select some vertices. Let's use the circular tool, circular select tool. Now we can paint large areas quickly. And you can use the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the size. And you want to decrease the size to just make some of the little details a little more interesting. Okay, now that we've done that, we hit escape to get out of circular select mode. And we will just hit the G button to make the cliffs. And as you can notice, we can skew them, and but we want them to be going straight up. To make them go straight up, hit the Z key to lock it. And you will notice this by the blue line running up and down the screen saying that we've locked the Z direction. Okay, and when we're at a good height, we can hit escape, or we'll hit the space bar, and that will fix the, the adjustment. Now we hit A to deselect all. We want to do proportional editing, and we will do smooth as fine. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'll show you how to just do a few. We'll select some points, and we need to hit escape, so we're not selecting points anymore. And we need to adjust, so the G key, the G key will do that. And again, we want to lock the Z direction. And you can notice that we're not actually doing proportional editing. Well, we are, but it's not a big enough influence sphere. So we need to adjust the circle. And we influence more points. And we want to lock the Z as well. Okay, when we're happy with that, hit the space bar to accept that. And let's deselect all the points again. This time we want to just pull a very few points. We can select fewer points by right clicking and shift right clicking. And again, we'll go hit the G key to adjust. and Z to lock in the direction, and spacebar to accept the adjustment. We can also select points by using the B key. 
And again, G to make the adjustment. And I don't like that one, so I'll hit Escape. Let's try Sphere. And G. That one I don't like either. Let's try Root. Let's try Sharp. Okay, so that gives a nice sort of rounded cliff effect. And we want to hit the Z key and the space bar. And that's done. So you can go around all the edges and make adjustments. Another adjustment that you want to make is adding some hills onto the flat surface. So we'll hit A and we'll hit C to do a circular select again. Let's just paint some random areas. And we'll pick, hit escape to get out of that mode, and we'll pick sphere to give us some gentle bumps. And I'll hit escape because I want to make a slightly larger sphere of influence. There we go, that's more gentle bumps. So again, that's using the mouse scroll and spacebar to accept. And then we'll do A again, and we'll do C to select some slightly different areas. You can choose some on the bumps already to give the bumps a little bit more non-uniform look. And then again, G key, escape, and then G key. And Z, just to keep the grid aligned, and then spacebar. And so we have a landscape. And we should save this now. Save as, and remember to mount your home drive. And you should go to volumes to get your home folder. And I'll just overwrite my last one. And that's it for this landscape tutorial.